hello guys and welcome back to the channel so guys uh, aisha buhari the one beacon of light in the foreboding darkness that is malam buhari and his cabal has come out in the public space again to have her say about the goings on within the nigerian space so with that guys i bring you this aisha buhari sends message to nigerian army so that's the headline aisha buhari sends message to nigerian army so now let's hear what um aisha has to say aisha buhari has called on the military authorities to end gender stereotype against female personnel in the nation's armed forces to enable them exhibit their full potential buhari who was represented by her senior special assistant on administration dr hajo sani made the call at the maiden defense headquarters conference on women peace and security on thursday in abuja the news agency of nigeria nan reports that the conference has the theme gender mainstreaming in the armed forces of nigeria for peace and security she said that nigeria and africa as a continent had a men dominated environment especially in the armed forces adding that the military was often hostile to women because of dominance according to her specific factors which include rejection isolation and unhealthy attitude from mainly the men are pronounced within the operational combat uh, sectors of the armed forces gender stereotypes against women is a potential threat to women's advancement in the military there are good numbers of reported cases where women were prevented from participating in combat duties excluding pregnancy and maternity so she's saying setting aside these two reasons which are legitimate there are still worrying concerns that our women are being uh, prevented for being in the combative end of the armed forces this is essentially what she's saying so we carry on women are often restricted to careers within the supportive mustering of the military community such as finance human resources personnel logistics medical services and welfare i enjoin the military women to take vehement exception to such psychological oppressions she said mrs buhari said that the possible reason why security issues bedeviling nigeria still persist could be because the armed forces had not been redefined to explore the potentials of women for operational effectiveness she added that women possessed the traits of patience perseverance and passion adding that they possess uh, the tendency to transmit the same spirit to any task because of their emotional build-up according to her the role of the armed forces is to provide security for the nation this mission must be framed for women must be framed they should say boy says frame so this mission must be framed i'll read it properly so this mission must be framed for women to participate fully in the provision of the envisaged security there is a need for the reformation of laws and policies that border on the inclusion of women in the strategic reformation of effective operational deployment there should be training and development opportunities that are specifically designed to support and or accommodate the special needs of female personnel officers and soldiers alike the military should as a matter of urgency eradicate gender biased policies procedures where they still exist the wide margin and lack of flexibility in structures based on gender should be bridged i wish to also call on women soldiers to continue to exercise resilience for which they have been identified they should also continue to show good example in professionalism and therefore beacons of inspiration to other women she added so now this is uh, aisha buhari yet again saying the most sensible of things because of course i have been tracking this woman for a good while now and especially in terms of her media pronouncement of course that's what i mean by tracking so i've been tracking her public outputs for a good while now and more often than not this woman has the most 
eminently to borrow the word of the uh, electoral electoral panel so this woman has the most eminently sensible things to say because anytime you read her comments there's very little that you can disagree with she took a position on the Fato Imbo Dakolo uh, situation and there was very little you could disagree with she came out and, and said a long while ago that her husband's regime was being hijacked by people who did not even know how Buhari got into government and there was very little that you could disagree with in that as well so there's very little that you can disagree with in a lot of the things that this woman has to say and yet again she has come out in the public space now to say that she wants her or the, rather the military should explore creating an environment where uh, women will have greater opportunities within that structure and again there's very little that you can disagree with in that so an eminently sensible woman in the dark firmament that is uh, Malam Buhari and the cabal is what we are uh, discovering now a gem in a mock of pigs that's effectively what we are seeing now I'm not quite sure if that's a phrase but if it is not a phrase I am coining it now so but you understand what I'm saying though this woman now is like a rare diamond in the dark firmament that is the cloud that uh, Malam Buhari and his team have created over the Nigerian space all the brutality and the fulanization and the Islamization and all the misations that they are setting as their agenda and that and all the danladification of the Nigerian space all of this going on once in a while this woman will just pop up in the firmament with this eminently and inspired comments eminently sensible I mean and inspired comments that she puts in the public space Space. so i enjoyed this and i agree in totality and to use the word of the uh, presidential electoral panel again in this entirety of their phrase do i agree in its entirety all of the things that this woman has to say because there's very little that you can disagree with in that women are eminently capable of being able to hold their own in the war front we've seen that with the american army we've seen that with the european armies we've seen that with the israeli army we saw that with gaddafi etc so there's a copious antecedents and this has been the practice for decades and decades in other places in the world so i don't see why the nigerian will be any different if the enabling environment is created for them to come to full fledged and function to the fullest of their potential so there's nothing you can disagree with in what this uh, woman has to say and if you do disagree with that then come let me know why in the comment section and if you agree as well come let me know that too but before you come engage with me in the comment section click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray the bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video then come let me know what you are making of what Aisha has to say in the comment section so I'll leave you here carry on with you in the comment section but here i say peace